Hi, Adam Bazalgette here in beautiful Naples, Florida. Today we're going to talk about how to hit a golf ball straight with an iron. I have a seven iron here. I'm founder of ScratchGolfAcademy.com and two-time PGA Teacher of the Year award winner down here. So let's get started and let's see how we can hit a golf ball straight with an iron. Okay, so let's talk about it then. How to hit a golf ball straight with an iron. By the way, if you like this video, please hit the like tab or subscribe to the channel. Love to get you more of this free content coming along as we go along. I have a seven iron here and there's really three factors that are gonna control how straight you hit the iron, at least primarily three. One, solid contact. If you don't hit the ball solidly, you can't count on it going straight. In fact, it probably won't go straight. Number two, direction of swing, or as they call it, swing path. And that literally means at the moment of contact, is the club traveling towards the target? Could be traveling left of the target, could be traveling out to the right. That will influence it as well. Uh, and we've got plenty of information at scratchgolfacademy.com about how to work on those things. But let's focus on number three, and this is probably the single biggest one, certainly assuming solid contact, and that is control of the club face at the bottom. Where is the club face aimed at the moment of contact? Just because it's straight at address doesn't mean it's gonna be straight at the moment of contact. So let's look at that. And as I say, overwhelmingly, that will have a broadening effect on your direction much more than any uh, save for a real miss hit than any other factor you can come up with. So let's see, how do we get good at that? Well, you could probably guess it. You've got to have a decent grip. Again, we've got more information about that. But there's no one right grip that works for everybody. Uh, what you've got to be able to do is you've got to be able to master where the club face is. How do you learn that? Simple. You have to practice. You have to play around with it a little bit. Uh, an old mentor of mine, Mike Hebron, National Teacher of the Year Award, wrote a, wrote a wonderful book I'd suggest you read, uh, and that's Play Golf to Learn Golf. And he talks about the critical element of childlike play a little bit to gain skill. Uh, what the studies show us is trying to do it exactly perfectly every time doesn't gain as much skill as trying to do it perfectly most of the time, but playing around with it a little bit at other times. So I'm going to try three shots here for you. This is a seven iron. And when you're first working on this, you want to do what I'm going to do, which is make some modest to small size swings. It's easier to feel impact in the club face on that scale. Now in this first one, I'm going to make the club face close. Now let me emphasize as I approach the camera, that doesn't mean a chaotic smashing and whipping of the hands in the club. Bit. It means closing the club. I can still have a firm front wrist and close the face. So as I come in, that's what I'm going to feel. You can see the green out there. Let's put the ball there. You can see that ball curve sharply to the left. This next one, I'm going to hit and do just the opposite. I'm going to try for the same swing, but leave the club face a little bit open. And that ball, as you can see, went out to the right. Again, a fairly small scale. I probably hit those shots 115 or 20 yards, something like that. And this final one, we're going to hit and we're going to try to feel something in the middle, something a little bit straighter. And you can see there, that that's pretty much on the target line. Now, as I work on that, obviously I try to hit more straight than otherwise, but you've got to mix that around. Again, I'm going to come to the camera. That's closed, that's open. That's closed, that's open. We're not talking about this kind of action. Build skill in that area. If you want to learn a little bit more about path and about grip and those things, go to my website, scratchgolfacademy.com. Now, I appreciate you watching the video. Again, please subscribe to the channel. Love to get you more free contact content, excuse me. Uh, hit the like button if you liked it and scratchgolfacademy.com has more info. Hope this helps you.